Hey guys, it's Lisa. So today I'm at Disneyland and do you know what day it is today? Do you know what was released today? It's the Donald Candy Corn Sipper and I've been waiting for this. I've really been waiting for this. I love Donald, I love candy corn, so those two things together make the perfect souvenir for me. So we're definitely gonna get him, but the other thing I wanna do, I just wanna see what new merch is around because Magic Key holders, it's starting today, get a 30% discount for the next three weeks. So I wanna maybe take advantage of it and yeah, just see what new merch is around. But anyway, come along with me, let's hang out and let's go get that candy corn sipper. Can you hear the music? Because it's the skeleton dance music from the Silly Symphony cartoon and I love hearing it. Isn't that nice? But anyway, okay, let's go. You know something so amazing? So I was just able to make a reservation for Disneyland like right this very moment because I forgot that I didn't have one. And I was also gonna say that about a year ago, that would have not been the case. Like that would have been a total risky move to be like, I'm just gonna show up without a reservation. So that goes to say that I am so grateful that things have changed. Isn't that awesome? I love that, that was so easy. Look how fast we are in. Well, for you, it was like incredibly fast because this is a video, but for me, it was basically equally as fast. But anyway, look, Mickey with his little Zorro mask. And yes, at first I was gonna say, what are we gonna do? But I know exactly what we're gonna go do. We are gonna go get that candy corn sipper. There is nothing like the smell of churros right when you walk into Disneyland and look the churro cart is right over here So yes, I'm getting that wonderful cinnamon sugar smell and I love it But the other thing I was gonna tell you is that I was able to mobile order the sipper just now from Jolly Holiday So we're gonna head over there There's also a list of other places that have it and you can also mobile order from them So if you really really want it I would suggest mobile ordering it when like mobile order opens in the morning at 7 a.m. Before park opens at 8 a.m. Wait a minute, big change of plans. We are getting diverted from our candy corn sipper goal for the day for just a moment. And it's because I just saw some people walking down Main Street with the big cardboard lightsaber boxes. And I was like, excuse me, is that what I think it is? And they said, yes, they had just gotten it right now. The Obi-Wan lightsaber set. So we're gonna walk over there and just, you know, um, check if they have that. Just, you know, really quick. Hello there. I just walked through the gigantic crowd that's always in front of Big Thunder, like that walkway. And can I tell you, my anxiety is peaking. Well, it was peaking back there. Now I'm just like, okay, there's space to walk. And I am really, really hoping that maybe I will get the chance to buy what I said no to at D23 and really regretted it. Maybe I will get a second chance today. The moment of truth is almost upon us because we are so close to Doc Ondar's right now. And I would speed walk, but I'm really gonna let it up to chance. Like, will I get it? Will I not? We're gonna see. Okay, Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, the air conditioning always feels so good in here. I just walked in and I see some very good news. Do you see the little box right over there? Oh, well, somebody stepped in front, but look, it's right there. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna wait in line and I am ecstatic. Here it is up close and personal. This is Obi-Wan's lightsaber set. And I did ask the cast member, I was like, I thought this sold out just recently. And they said it did, it sold out over the weekend and they got a surprise shipment today. They don't think it's gonna last any past today. So honestly, I feel like it's fate, it's totally fate. And I am thrilled, but yes, I love Obi-Wan Kenobi. And if you're asking if it's because uh, Ewan McGregor, maybe, maybe it is. Look at what I have in front of me. Yes, this is it. This is the box. This is the box that's gonna go home. This one is my box. There are many boxes like it. Well, there's only 3,000. There's 3,000 boxes like this, but this one, this one is mine. Here it is. Look at it in all of its cardboard box glory. And if you're asking if I'm gonna do an unboxing, not here, I'm not insane and psychotic, but I am so thrilled. Also, look at how big this is. Can you see? It's huge. So. It's also incredibly heavy, so I'm gonna have to walk this back to my car uh, because we still have to get the Donald candy corn sipper and, you know, I don't want them to fight over who gets the most attention because it would, well, I don't know. Maybe it would be Donald, actually. Anyway, okay, let's go put it back in my car and then we're gonna go get that sipper. You know, on second thought, it wouldn't be a terrible idea to carry this around all day because this thing is so heavy. <laughs> it is so heavy and it would give me such a good workout like all day. I would just have to make sure to swap like my left and my right arm, but okay, no, I've only been carrying this about for like uh, a minute and I'm already tired. <laughs> oh God, 
This thing is so heavy. <laughs> it's also really warm. Well, it's warm in my standards, but uh, we'll get it home soon. Well, okay, that was quite the journey and now my lightsabers are tucked safely back in my car and you might be asking me, why do you even bother bringing it all back to your car? Okay, well first, I already have a locker and it has my laptop in it because yeah, sometimes I work remotely from Disneyland. <laughs> but then also the other thing I was gonna say is that if I have my candy corn sipper, it would just be a lot to try and carry with me and I thought that would be really unpleasant so I just got it out of the way. But anyway, let's get back to the original plan which is to get inside of Disneyland and get our Donald candy corn sipper. <laughs> This is it. This is the moment we've been waiting for. I'm here. Prepare my order. I have someone very important to introduce you to. Well, okay, you already know who it is. It's Candy Corn Donald. Oh my goodness. Okay, I am not a sipper or a popcorn bucket person, but I just really, really needed him. And he does not disappoint. He is absolutely precious and adorable. In fact, look at him from the side. He kind of gives a little bit of like Igor or like, you know, some Hunchback of Notre Dame vibes. Just a little bit. But he is so, so cute. He's gonna go trick-or-treating and I love the strap on it. And I'm definitely gonna wear him the rest of the day because he and I are going to be best friends all day long. Me, this plastic inanimate object, best friends. Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> But I love him, and look, you can open him like this. There we go. But I am not gonna put a drink inside of him because we're friends and friends don't do that, you know? It would be weird, but this is a little straw. Actually, oh, this thing is really hard to do. Okay, we're just gonna, just know that there's a straw back here, you know? And because I wanna like wear him around all day, I kinda wanna rip this plastic part off, but I, you know, even just saying that out loud, I'm like, oh, there's no way I'm gonna do that because that would not go well. And who knows if I could even rip it off. It would not go well. And I can't do that to my friends. We are best friends now. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna wear him around all day long. And once I get home, like, what do I, what am I gonna do with him? I mean, I don't, I'll hold, cover his ears. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. He is my friend, but like, do I display him? I don't know. We'll see, but anyway. I'm so excited. Okay, so the first thing that we originally intended today, we finally did. Finally. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you. Okay, I also got a brownie at Jolly Holiday. So this is the Halloween brownie they have, and it was really delicious, but I could only eat a little bit because it was so, so rich. So it's a super fudgy brownie, and then it has chocolate ganache on the top, so it gives it a very, like, smooth, decadent flavor. And then it also has, like, the cutest decoration. So it has a spider web with a little gummy spider come on. And then on the inside, they surprised you because when you cut into it, there's a little pocket of M&Ms. And who doesn't love that? You know, Halloween surprise. It was adorable, and I really liked it. But yes, very, very rich, especially on a warm day. Like, I don't really feel like eating very rich chocolate on a very warm day. But here we are, and now I get to have it when I get home. But it was really good, so I recommend you get it. And now, okay, I'm gonna put this away, but we really need to get to the part that we came here for, which was merch. So let's go do that next. Since I just came from Plaza Inn, I thought I may as well just walk straight into Plaza Point and start here and look for merch in these little shops. China Closet has a new Starbucks tumbler. Look at this. So we have a Starbucks logo right there on one side, and then on the other, we have all of these fun illustrations. Look at Minnie. I really like that. It's like a rubber hose, like, well, it's like extra rubber hose animation style. And then look at this. We have like the Pixar ball. We have the Mickey Fun Wheel. Ooh, a Mickey Premium Bar. And then Disneyland Resort. Ooh, and I like that there's a slice of pizza that's very fun. Okay, let's see, it's $28. I know it's starting to get to be not quite beach season, but it's still kind of beach season. I mean, we're in Southern California and look at this really fun towel. I like the asymmetrical cut of it. And then I also like that it's double-sided so you can have the pink dress or the blue dress. And I don't know which one is my favorite because one of my favorite parts of Cinderella is the song that the mice sing when they're making her pink dress. It just makes my heart really, really happy. But you can have this in towel form. I mean, I kind of want it. And let's see, it's $25. I love China Closet because I love home goods and I love home decorations and this is so cute. Look, it's Grogu. Anything with Grogu is automatically just 10 times cuter and look, he's coming out of this little planter and yes, it is a fake plant. In fact, all of these planters always have little fake plants but hey, that just means that I would never be able to kill it. Okay, let's see, it's 
colors. It's so nice. I wonder if you would ever be able to like depot that and make it into a real planter because that would be kind of cool. There are all these really adorable little Dumbo home goods. And okay, first, I feel like I've seen this before. I don't think this is new. This little fake planter. Yes, it's one of those fake plants, but this has been around for a while. At least I am, I'm almost positive. But now we have a salt and pepper shakers. Look at this, they're like the ride vehicles. Can you see that? Very fun. And let's see how much this is. This is $25. And then look at this. I think this is absolutely precious. It's a little trinket tray. And Dumbo looks so cute with the little feather right there. I love this actually. I, okay, let's see, it's $20. Honestly, trinket trays, I love buying them, but I would have a million if I didn't ever stop myself, so I can't. But there's also this little water globe, or snow globe, I should say. Ooh, I love how big the pieces of glitter are. Let's see, can you see that? That's wonderful, but yes, it's for King Arthur's Carousel, and this is $40. And then there's another trinket tray. Okay, let's see, or maybe it's a candle? No, I don't, wait. Yes, it's a trinket tray. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is actually very, very cute. It's $25 and I'm telling you, I would totally end up buying way too many trinket trays if, you know, I had no self-control. I'm actually really excited about this because like I said, I love home goods. So then when you add the skeleton dance on top of it, it makes it extra amazing for me. But look at this, we have a little tray which would be perfect for your spooky cocktail hour. And it has a mirror and it's nice and like, I like that it looks distressed. It gives it an extra spooky vibe. And then we have the skeletons and Mickey, of course. And I think that this is $40. Yes, this is $40. And then we also have, I think these are really cool. We have little plates and look, they kind of match the glasses. So there's four glasses with one design on each of them. And these kind of correlate to that. So we have the spooky owl and then all of the skeletons back here. And then this skeleton is on a gravestone. And then back here we have Mickey and he's looking very scared. And I mean, we love that for him. We have some Alice in Wonderland mugs that I feel like I haven't seen before, but honestly don't hate me if I have seen it before and I just don't remember. But look, I like that it has very Mary Blair inspired graphics along the bottom. Then it says curiouser and curiouser and it's like very slightly metallic finished for curiouser and curiouser, like the text. And then, hey, let's see, $20. And then look at this one. This one is actually so fun. It's a teacup and it has silhouettes of all of our favorite Alice in Wonderland friends around the edges. I really love Alice. I love Alice in Wonderland, except, okay, the movie was terrible because now that I am an adult, I realize everyone was so mean to her. <laughs> okay, so this is $20, but yeah, I mean, that movie is kind of unsettling now that I'm an adult because I do realize everyone was so mean to her. So since we started today off with a very Star Wars-y type of day, I am totally feeling this mug. Well, first off, I love that it's gigantic. I really like big, gigantic mugs. I feel like they feel comforting, like they feel extra cozy. But look at this, it's matte. I actually love that. Well, it's not fully matte, it's like a satin finish. But then I love the glossy print on top of it and it feels, I really like that font actually. It's very playful and it's a little bit hippie-like, right? I really like that font. Okay, and we have a lightsaber on the back. This is $15 and then the inside is glazed pale yellow and it's very nice and shiny. This is so adorable, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a little woody mug, or I shouldn't say little, it's actually quite large. It's actually gigantic for a mug, and it's not quite a mug, it's made for cereal. I love that, or I mean, if you really need your caffeine, you could definitely use that, that would be kind of fun. But look at this, okay, on the back, it says cowboy crunchies, oh my goodness. Okay, so yes, $20 and I love this. We made our way over to the men's clothing section and I really love this. This is a rugby shirt and I am so into, like, I would wear this. I would actually wear this. Okay, so it's pretty heavy. I mean, it's not too heavy, but it would definitely keep you very, very warm. And then we have Mickey right here. And Mickey is embroidered, but the little piano is printed. And this is actually so awesome. Let's see, anything on the back? No, but I, I don't know, I'm like, nerding out about this. I think it's so cool. And it's 
There are these castles of Disney apparel items and they're so fun because look, they feature all of the different castles of Disney parks. And I like how brightly colored it is. I also love this teal color. I think that's a really nice compliment to the colorful part up here. And then it has embroidery that says castles of Disney on the side. But look at this, this is actually the best part. It has a patch on it and it has the saying where it says, here we leave today and we enter yesterday and tomorrow and a land of fantasy. Uh, I just ad-libbed that and it was really bad. For $37, there's a men's shirt that features all of these Disney castles, but look at this. I love that they're in little postage stamp frames. I feel like that is just really cool. Or maybe it's kind of postcard inspired, but I'm getting like postage stamp. Like it feels kind of that vibe. And it has the year that every park opened. This is a really fun graphic. Ooh, and then also like the kitschy little starburst in the background, very nice. And it's a nice thin heathered gray shirt. I like that, that's actually like pretty nicely thin. And then I think, yes, okay, this is $37. There are also some men's lounge shorts here and they're featuring Animal. And I feel like we do not get a lot of Muppets merch. So this is kind of exciting. I love the Muppets. Oh, this is kind of like a nice thin, it's almost flannelly, but it's not. It's actually very much so cotton. But look at this. I love that we have some halftone dots right there. Very, very nice. And then let's see, this is $37. And I wonder if there's pockets. I know there's like slip pockets on the side. No, no pockets on the back, but yes, it does at least have pockets at the hip. These are another pair of lounge shorts, and they're also $37, but they feature Goofy and Max, and who doesn't love Goofy and Max? I mean, a Goofy movie is the best thing ever, but I love this splatter print. It's very bright. I mean, this would actually be really nice in the winter when, you, you know, things are kind of drab, but you need something to brighten up. There are also these Mickey ones right here, these Mickey lounge shorts, they're charcoal gray. And then I love Mickey in all of his different poses. Look right there, he is very happy, he's dancing. And then these also have pockets on the side. And then let's see, how much are these? These are $25. The Disney Parks Halloween Lounge Fly has finally arrived here at Disneyland and it's $75 and it features a completely new silhouette. So it's a little bit more, hmm, I wanna say like rectangular, you know what I mean? And it feels a little bit taller, so maybe it would fit a few more things. Actually, yes, I really, it is very much so a little bit larger, but I love Mickey ears on a backpack. Who doesn't love that? And it has these side pockets right here and then on the back. It's, oh wow, I didn't realize that. I thought it was gonna be black on the back. Actually, the print goes all the way around. And then I like this one because look, Donald is front and center. And I do have my Donald attached to me. It might be kind of hard to show, but well, there he is. That's super awkward that I just did that. The lining is also a nice compliment to like how busy the outside print is, but it's the same print that we've been seeing on some of the apparel items. So it has like the ghosts and then Mickey pumpkins and some candy, but I like that it's mainly black because yes, this print is very, very busy. So I feel like it needs something kind of simple on the inside. I love ears. Like anytime new ears arrive at the parks, I'm always super excited. And these, when I saw them online, I was like, mm, I don't know, but I actually think they're really nice. The teal color is awesome. And I love the kitschy graphics, very 60s. And then the Disneyland logo across the front is actually really fun. And these are $30 and I do kind of like them. I don't know if I would get them though. I have to think about it, but I do like them. Because I'm undecided, that is just the perfect reason to try them on. I mean, I don't really need a lot of reasons to try on ears. I just really like them, but let's see. I think I like them. I think I do. I'm not, I am not sold. I'm not fully sold, but I kind of like them. They might grow on me, but they're definitely not the type of ears that are gonna fly off the shelf, so I have some time to think about it. I definitely have to be picky about what ears I buy, otherwise I will just start amassing way, way too many. And also ears that I just will never wear. I mean, I would hate that. But look, I noticed it says on the side, making magic. I love that. I came outside and I was like, wait, the sun is setting so quickly. And yes, fall is definitely on its way here because the sun is setting a little bit more every single day and I love that. But okay, I'm right outside of Fortuosity Shop, so let's go in here and also the Emporium because they always have good stuff. Wait, before we go inside, do you see the Matterhorn? It's the top of the Matterhorn right there and it's still getting a little bit of sun. I love that. I really, really love the Matterhorn. <laughs> well, okay, I don't love the ride as much, but I just love it as a mountain, if that makes sense. 
This is the Color Me Courtney Tiana collection, and I think the colors in this are so amazing. Like, all the pieces have the best colors. This tulle skirt is amazing. I'm not one for, like, long skirts, though. Like, I just, this would be so out of character for me to wear, but I think it's incredible. I also like that it has embroidery right here at the waist. Amazing. And then this dress is so pretty, so feminine. Also very summery, but hey, we're in Southern California. You could wear it whenever you wanted. And I love these flouncy sleeves, the smocked bodice. And then the print itself is so amazing. And the fabric is a very light, very airy. That would have so much nice movement to it. I think these are the best part of the collection. I love these ears. I think they are stunning. They're so pretty. I mean, the colors, all the details, the textures, I love everything about them. But the most important part, did you know you can also get a tiny set of Nuimo ears so you can match your Nuimo and have an entire little outfit and match them. I don't think anything can beat that, honestly, at all. With the extra 30% off, I am so, so tempted to get this backpack. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors and unexpectedly, because I really, like when I saw this online, I was like, oh, no, easy pass for me. But in person, gorgeous. And yes, now I'm very tempted because 30% off makes this insanely inexpensive. I love that they displayed the Encanto ears right next to the Encanto Loungefly backpack because I haven't seen these paired together, but they would look so, so good. I love that. I was about to walk right out of the Emporium because I'm telling you, it is like peak chaos right now in this store. But look at these, they caught my eye. They're from Shanghai Disneyland and they're so stunning. They have so many fun details. I love the dangly beads, the faux flower, and then it has this faux silk fabric with gold metallic details. Lovely. And then it also has a double bow. So it has the same silky material, but then it has organza with some metallic thread in it and the little fan. Oh, these are so precious. I almost missed these two, but look, okay, so those are the Shanghai ears, and now we have Paris ears, because look, it says Euro Disney 1992, and these are also super, super fluffy, like very puffy, but we have Sorcerer Mickey right there, and then this printed bow, very interesting, ooh, and wait, it says, is it gonna say glows in the dark or something? Oh, I'm struggling right now, what does it say? Oh no, it just says Disneyland Atelier, okay, that's nice. This lounge fly bag came from D23 and now we have it here at Disneyland, but isn't it such a fun shape? It's very unique and I do love this light pale turquoise right here and then the gold metallic is also gorgeous and then the applique right there to look like the awning of the carousel and it also has, so it has like gold chain and then look at that, the charm says carousel on it. This is really beautiful. Let's see, I think it's $80. Yeah, it's $80. I adore when there's like a bag charm or a keychain that matches your lounge fly or just, you know, any accessory you have. And this carousel one is the perfect match for this lounge fly. So I think that is really, really exciting. Okay, wait, this is $15 and it's not technically a bag charm. It is a keychain, but you could very, very easily put that on a bag. This little shoulder bag or crossbody bag is also from D23. And one of the things I love most about Loungefly is when they make figural items. And this is like a figural tea set. I think that's so cool. The only thing is that this would be so much cooler if it was the heart teacup. You know, the one that they have for a photo op right outside of the Mad Tea Party here at Disneyland. Because, I mean, this is like Disney World and I just like the Disneyland ones a little bit better. But I do think this is so, look, it has like a scalloped edge frame for the plaque. That is so fun. And then look at the top. It also has like holographic. Yeah, see, it's like shiny holographic print so that it looks kind of like tea. Or, I mean, it doesn't really look like tea at all, but that's so nice. I totally love the Emporium because it started to get a little bit too chaotic for me, but I did make one last stop. I went to, where is it? Jolly Holiday, and guess what I got? A Mickey Mummy Macaron. I am so excited to have this. It's the second one of the season, which is, you know, a very good thing. Not that anybody's counting. And yes, I do still have that brownie, but I mean, the Mickey Macaron is a, just a little bit better. Oh, and also I have my Donald Sipper. I'm so excited. I feel like I didn't get to enjoy him as much as I wanted to. Like, you know, as long, I wanted like a full day with him at my side. Like, so maybe I'll bring him back. I don't know. Is that insane? 
No, it would be it would be totally fine. But yes, maybe he'll bring him back. Anyway, okay. This was such a fun day. Oh, the Obi-Wan. Oh my god. Okay, that was the highlight. That was the absolute highlight of the day. I cannot believe I got that lightsaber set. I am okay, I'll have to unbox it and show it to you guys because I'm so excited to go home and see what it looks like. But anyway, all around an amazing day, an incredible day. I hope you guys had fun coming along with me. And yes, I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.